Hey there everyone, and today I'm going to actually show you this really neat trick on the Mac, and it is for the Magic Mouse. You can also use a touchpad if you have like a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, this will work for that. But I'm just going to go over the ways to do it with a Magic Mouse. So, you just bought your Magic Mouse, and you're, you are really upset that you can't squeeze it to launch Expose or something. So. All you have to do is download this tool called Better Touch Tool, and you can enable any, almost any gesture to do almost anything. It's really neat, so we're just going to go ahead and get started here. What you'll need to do is launch your internet browser and go to blog.boaster.net, B-O-A-S-T-R. It's in the description, so just click on it there. Then you need to go to the Downloads section and choose current better touch tool version download click download and wait for it to download once it's done you need to install it by just just dragging it into your applications or wherever and launching it now by doing that you will launch this window here so we're just going to go through all these options here. General, you can have it show the menu bar icon or not. You can add it to your system preferences, which is how I have it. You can show the dock icon while it's running. You can launch it every time you launch your Mac. Um, it will detect what kind of Mac you're using. You can tell it uh, if you want the focused window or the window under the cursor to move for window moving features. And you can tell it to always update to the most current version, including alpha testing stuff. That is very risky. Any alpha testing stuff is risky. I wouldn't recommend it. That's why I don't have it checked. So, that's the general tab. Then there's the touchpad tab with some uh, stuff here. Since I don't have a touchpad, I'm just going to go to the mouse part. And you see there's lots of stuff here. So, you can set the mouse speed higher than it would in Apple preferences. You can disable one finger scrolling and you can warn if the battery level is lower than 25%. Clicks, you can tell it where the clicks are. Um, swipes, you can, you can customize the swipes. You can tell it what to ignore. One and two finger taps and tip taps. Tip taps is like you put one finger on and then tap with the other finger. I'm not using any of it because it doesn't like it on mine. Three finger taps and other gestures such as zoom. Now the gestures tab is where you'll do most of it. As you can see over in the left, it says select application. Global means it doesn't matter what application it's in, it will always do it. So I have global, safari, and finder. And what I want to do is let's say I want to add a shortcut to launch um, expose by tapping with three fingers on the mouse. So what I do is I click on add new gesture, I choose three finger tap, and then I choose expose. Now all I have to do is take three fingers, tap on the mouse, whoops, it clicked. Take three fingers, tap on the mouse, and expose will launch. Okay. If I don't want it, you can just delete the selected gesture. Now I've made some here that are for global. Three fingers swipe left, right, up, and down are for expose because I have command and the arrow set. So I just swipe, 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 and it goes just how you swipe it. Two finger swipe down is control space, which is my key binding for Quicksilver. So I can just go like zoom and quicksilver launch. Then I have a four finger click, so I put four fingers on and click, and that launches a new tweet. So that's what I have for my global gestures. Then you can have application specific gestures such as in Safari. If I do a three finger click, it will middle click. So let's say I'm going to go to YouTube and I want to watch this video, but I want to launch it in a different tab. I use three fingers, click, and it does a middle click which launches it in a new tab. Then of course I have Finder, and I have two of them here. Um, 
three finger click sends it to the trash, and four finger click empties the trash. So I have this little download here, and I want to get rid of it. Well, just select it, three finger click trashes it, four finger click empties the trash. So there you have it. You can set up almost anything. There's single finger stuff, two finger, three finger, four finger, tip tap, uh, scroll up, scroll down, pinch, gestures. It's really amazing what they have in here. You can customize it as much as you want. You can download the alpha updates to do even more. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can if you want to. Again, you can get this at blog. Dot boaster dot net. It's in the description. Just click downloads and then choose better touch tool. They also have an app called Second Bar, which if you have two screens on your Mac, you can make your menu bar extend across both. Then you have the Apple menu and everything on both screens. That's handy if you're like, oh, I don't know if you have, I don't know. I don't know where it comes in handy, but I'm sure it does. So if you need that, you can download that too. So, this is GTT, and hope I'll see you next time. Also, I just want to real quick say this, that once I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway, and all the subscribers are eligible, and it will just be really fun, because it's going to be a lot better than all my other giveaways have been. So, thanks for watching this video, I hope I get to 500 subscribers soon, and I'll see you next time.